Let's take a few minutes and consider the nature of the body theory, the body theory of personal identity. Oh, on this theory, of course, the secret to being the same person is having the same body. So when we ask, well, you remember last lecture, I was talking about how there'd be somebody here lecturing to you philosophy on Tuesday. Well, here somebody is. Is that the same person? Is the, is the person who's lecturing to you now the same person as the person who was lecturing to you before? According to the body theory, the answer is, turns on the question, well, is, is this the same body as the, as the lump of, of flesh and bone that was here last week? If it is, and, and by the by it is, if it is, then, then it's the same person. So am I the person who was lecturing to you last week? Yes, I am, because it's the very same body. That's what the body theory says. And unlike souls, where it's all rather mysterious how you could tell whether body, whether soul swapping was taking place or not, it's not all that mysterious how we check out to see whether you know, the same body's been around. Even though you didn't do it, you could have you know, snuck into my house, watched my body go to sleep, get up in the morning, followed the body around over the course of the day, see it go to sleep again. You could have tracked that body through space and time and said, hey, look, same, very same body. In the same way that we are able to track in principal cars, our earlier example, and talk about, yeah, it's the same hunk of metal and wire and rubber and plastic. This is the same hunk same body. All right, same body, same person. That's the body theory of personal identity. Now, if we accept the body theory, then of course, if we turn to the question, could I survive my death? Could I survive the death of my body? At first glance, it looks as though the answer is going to have to be, well, of course not, because when my, when my body dies, then Oh, eventually the body begins to decay. It, it, it decomposes, turns into molecules which get absorbed into the soil or what have you. This may take years or decades or even centuries, but you know, my body no longer exists after death of my body. And so how could I survive the death of my body? If for somebody, for me to survive the death of my body, there's got to be somebody who's me, and it being me requires it being the same body, my body would have to still be around, but it's not. That's what it looks like at first glance, but at second glance we see that there's at least a possibility, of, a logical possibility of surviving the death of my body. All it takes is for my body to be put back together. Bodily resurrection. Now, I'm not going to here pursue the question of do we believe bodily resurrection occurs or will occur. I'll note that there have been religious traditions that have taught and believed in this possibility. In particular, it's probably worth mentioning that early Christians believed in something like the body theory of personal identity and believed in bodily resurrection that would happen on Judgment Day. We can certainly understand the possibility that God would perform a miracle, put the molecules back together, sort of turn the body back on, same body, same person, come Judgment Day. That the possibility. So it's at least worth emphasizing the fact that even if we don't believe in souls, we could still believe in the possibility of surviving one's death, the death of one's body, if we're willing to believe in bodily resurrection. 